you said working here. Really <laughs> That's how the Christmas story starts. <laughs> Mary is sitting there doing whatever she was doing, maybe knitting, maybe reading, maybe playing a green bass guitar, even though I don't think so. <laughs> and Luke's story says that in the middle of her day doing what she was doing, the angel Gabriel interrupted her. Said, stop, I've got something else to tell you. Well, I'm not the angel Gabriel. <laughs> and Bill is not the Virgin Mary. <laughs> we can be sure of both of these things. <laughs> but I think I want to make the point that God sometimes interrupts us like Gabriel interrupted the Virgin Mary. Now in the story, Gabriel says you're going to have a child. And this child is going to change the world. And Mary, drawing from this well of faith and wisdom, perhaps with a little bit of fear and uncertainty, said to the angel, at least the story tells us, let it be to me according to your will. There are other things Mary could have said, like you must be kidding. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I believe in angels. Can you explain the pros and the cons of me saying yes? But instead, Mary recognized that something was happening, sacred. Something interrupted what she was doing, and Mary said, yeah, I'll do it. What would we do if we were the character in this sacred story and God interrupted us when we're playing bass or doing whatever we do with our lives? In fact, we are characters in a sacred story. Our stories are sacred stories. What do we do when we feel God interrupting us? What do we do when in the middle of our ordered life and our ordered day, all of a sudden we feel this spirit that is beyond us telling us something, grabbing our attention, asking us to stop and do something else? Do we have the wisdom of Mary and say, yes, or do we bargain or wonder? Now sometimes God intrudes, and we can't miss it. There are those grand, life-changing interruptions that sometimes are holy, sometimes are not. Our lives are interrupted when we fall in love. Everything stops. When someone we love dies, everything stops. When we lose a job, discover a talent, perhaps discover faith, our lives are interrupted when we can't do anything about it. But what about those small times? Those small interruptions that are not so grand. Those interruptions that the sacred that God puts upon us daily. Like when a friend bumps into us on the street and wants to interrupt what we're doing to talk. Do we let that friend interrupt us, or are we so preoccupied with our agenda, we blow on by? When someone calls on the phone, are we always too busy? Or might that phone call be a divine interruption? When we're driving down 705 and it's not snowing, and it's clear do we allow ourselves to see the mountain on the horizon and have our breath taken away and let our processes that we're thinking about be interrupted by a moment with awe? Luke tells us that the story of Jesus begins with a holy interruption, that things aren't so neatly planned 
Mary said yes when God interrupted her life. God still speaks. When we allow ourselves on occasion to be interrupted. 